Okay, it looks like it, uh, it finally arrived. We've been working on that uh, 3D printed spider robot, and uh, I guess the design that they used was uh, a Huaduino or something like that. And so I ordered a few of them because my motto is one is none, right? Ooh, I'm cutting into something. You gotta be careful when you open up the package. These things are capable of controlling uh, 12 servos, which is what you need for the legs, right? Oh, come on. Oh. Okay. It really jammed in there. Looks like this came from airmail from Hong Kong, is that right? Hong Kong. Okay, so I ordered four of them, it looks like, and they're kind of taped together here. And I'm still trying to reduce some of the 3D printed parts, so while we're waiting on, waiting on that, we can try to get these guys going. It looks like they have pins that have actually punched through the bag, so I'm having troubles Pulling it out, oh my gosh, maybe I should get a different one. The pins punch through the bag and now I can't pull it out. Whatever thought. It looks like those pins are a little bit bent now. Oh my god. You gotta be careful when you bend these pins back because, uh, they can break if you bend them back and forth too much. Okay, so here's our who do we know? Who do we know? Not sure how you say that. And it's got all sorts of uh, plugs here, so you can plug in a bunch of servos. And it's supposed to work on a lithium battery. And. Uh, I'm not sure how you program that. I guess there's a micro USB port right here. So I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Don't want to get it too close because the camera will be out of focus if I do. Okay, so it's just, there's a switch up here and a switch back here. and I'm not sure what either of those do. And so I'm going to have to do some research on this guy to see how we hook this guy up and program him. We might have to make some changes to the Arduino IDE, I suspect. Typically, that's the different boards require some some special uh, uh, modifications to the IDE, some uh, libraries or something probably added to it. So anyway, we got our boards. I'll just stick it back in the anti-static thing. We'll do a little bit of research on that to see if we can figure out how they get these guys up and running. Okay. Okay, so here's our who do we know? Or who uh, who uh, uh, do we know? I'm not sure how you say that. And uh, we'll just test it out because it's always good to test stuff out, right? Before you uh, try to hook it up. I, I got this for our uh, 3D printed uh, spider robot. It uses 12 servos. And here's where the servo connectors are, and there's some kind of switch labeled S1, and an on and off switch, and a battery charger for um, 3.7 volt lithium batteries. And here we have a servo, and I was just going to hook this servo into pin 9, because our sketch that we're working with is a... Uh, off of pin 9 and let's see I think the brown is actually the you have to get them in the right order because if you look over here they say one of these is a signal one's plus and one is ground and I think brown is ground and the orange is a signal and this is pin number 9 so we'll try plugging her into that and maybe I'll take uh, one of these uh, nylon things 
I can get it out of here and stick it onto our servo so we can just see if it's moving properly or not. Take a long one, what the heck, right? We'll take our servo, stick our long thing on there like that, and um, we're going to plug this into, it requires a micro USB, and so I have one of those over here on the computer. Let's go over here. And so here's our micro USB port. I'm going to plug that into our Hudawino and uh, we'll see how that works. Let me... Okay, so we have our Hudawino here. Here's our micro USB port there. And uh, here's the uh, USB connector for the computer. And we'll plug that guy in. And there we go, we got some lights, so it looks like it's alive. And let's try doing a sketch and see if we can make that servo turn back and forth. Okay. Okay, so here's a place where we order the uh, Who Do We Know off of eBay. And here's uh, it talks a little bit about the pins. And again, there's a, a mysterious switch one. I'm not sure what that does. I'll have to do some more research. Micro USB, place for the lithium batteries on-off switch, a bunch of uh, servo, 12 servo connectors, so it's good for lots of servos if you want to control them, and using a lithium battery, of course. And let's look at, uh, here's a sketch called Sweep. It was uh, an example, and uh, my servo was hooked, attached to pin 9, so I hope I got it on the right servo. If it's not, I'll just jump it to a different one. And so this sketch was already written out. Uh, I'll just go briefly through it. Uh, includes servo library. So this is, someone wrote a servo library, and uh, that's going to control the servo. But you could you could just make your own pulse with modulation if you wanted to be uh, brave or or whatever. Um, okay, so they include the servo library, and then there's always two parts to a Arduino code. There's a setup which is run once to set things up and then there's a loop where it loops through and loops through and loops through and that's where the main part of the program is so here they're in the setup they're attaching to servo number nine pin nine to servo to that servo and then uh, we're going to do the loop and it's going to uh, have a variable here and it's going to sweep up and down from uh, 0 to 180 and then it's going to write to the servo which is going to cause the servo to sweep back and forth hopefully and then we're going to have a little delay, so it will not go as you know 16 megahertz or whatever. It's going to delay. This is in seconds, I believe, or 15 milliseconds. I'm sorry, delay is in milliseconds. There's different delays in here. So this was in milliseconds, so it's not going to whip through it too fast. Okay, and this tells it to go back down again, I guess. So it's got a for loop to make it go up, and then a for loop to make it go down. And these curly brackets designate the beginning and end of loop structures or other structures. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to go into uh, tools and um, we're going to set the board up. And I did a little bit of research and I found out that uh, the Huduino is actually an Arduino Nano, but it's on a different type of board. So you want to choose Arduino Nano. And um, I'm using Linux here, so people who are using Windows, this will be a little bit different. Um, you have to set the serial port, and I think this is probably the right one. If it's not, we'll choose the other one. Uh, let's do a test here. We'll test our sketch. And it should be good because it was, you know, something I got off the internet, or something that came, came with the Arduino IDE. So let's try downloading it, and okay, it downloaded it, and our servo is not working. So maybe, maybe I didn't get it on the right pin, or maybe I had the servo backwards. It's, I think typically it won't destroy the servo if you get this backwards. Hopefully, I know um, when I was hooking up. The power to the uh, signal in that will destroy the servo definitely because I destroyed one before. But uh, yeah, I think reversing the signal in the ground doesn't destroy it. 
typically. Okay, well, anyway, let me fiddle around with this and I'll see if I can figure out uh, why this servo is not working. And then we'll take a shot of that. Okay, so here we have, um, uh, what is it, uh, oh god, what are these things called, uh, 181860, something or other, hmm, let me get the number right, 18650, 18650 battery, lithium battery, and our Huduino, which we programmed to run the servo, and this is on, uh, pin number 9 here, which is what we, uh, put our sketch on, here's our little servo here, and, uh, of course, when I had it hooked up to the USB, it was not powering the servo. And there's this little switch, and I uh, tried switching the switch into different positions and hooking the battery up, and it turns out that the switch has got to be switched into the other position. Let's make sure I got this right, because you probably don't want to hook up the voltage wrong. And uh, so after we program it, we got to sw switch that switch so it runs on the battery. So the blue light comes on. and the servo starts going back and forth. So it turns out that the servos can only be run, looks like, when you hook it up to an external lithium battery. And so it looks like our Huduino is is working properly, and we can uh, try to stick it into our uh, spider robot next, and uh, do all sorts of other interesting projects with up to 12 servos that are powered, and you can easily plug them into these uh, pins here. So anyway, very interesting. This should be great for projects. Oh, this should be a excellent device for using in projects. So anyway, this is uh, Dr. Jane's, and thanks for watching.